this tutorial will show you how to change all the seals of an intake manifold and a valve cover on a D4F engine, which means a 1.2 liter 16 valve of Renault. To avoid damages on any electrical component, we are going to disconnect the battery. So with an 8 mm spanner, first disconnect the negative lead here represented in green and then disconnect the positive lead here in red. You have now the battery disconnected. Now it's time to remove the air filter box with a 10 mm socket. We are going to undo the fastener here in yellow. Once removed, you can lift the tab at the back of the airbox filter and uh, you swing the box through you and the box will come quite easily in your hand. So you have the box here in green. To remove the cosmetic plastic cover, you just have to pull it out gently and it will come quite easily. How to remove the coil pack? Now let's remove the coil pack. Beforehand we have to unplug the spark plug boot here in blue. Uh, those boots uh, don't come quite easily so I advise you to use two screwdrivers to pry the boots and remove them. After that we are going to remove the driver connector here in green so you just lift the tap and then you pull on the wire and the connector comes quite easily. Then the coil pack is held by three uh, torque sc screws here represented in yellow. So undo those fastener and the coil pack will come quite easily. Let's disconnect the vacuum line of the gas recycling here in yellow. So press the two tabs here represented in blue and pull out the connector. Now the vacuum line is disconnected. Let's do the same thing for the power brake. So just press the ring and then pull out the vacuum line. Same principle for the fuel line here in yellow. So pay attention because the fuel rail is under pressure. So press the blue tabs here and pull up the fuel lines. So pay attention because here the rag will be soaked with fuel. How to remove the intake manifold? Before dismounting the intake manifold, let's remove a bunch of connectors. So let's begin with the NOx sensor here in purple. So it is held by a metallic clip with a screwdriver. You remove the clips and then you can pull out the connector. After that, we have a ground with a socket or a key of 13 millimeters, remove the bolt and then place back the bolt not to lose it. Let's 
let's remove the coolant temperature connector for the map sensor you lift the tab and then you can pull out the connector let's do the very same thing for the injector interface so this is the connector between injectors and ECU then let's remove the ECU connectors so we have to press the tabs with a screwdriver here in red and then you swing the brackets the holding brackets here in yellow once completely in 90 degree position you can pull out the connector connectors loom explanation here we have the coil pack driver connector then the manifold absolute pressure connector then the ECU connectors the injectors connectors the throttle body connectors the knock sensor connector the coolant free temperature gauge connector and the ground how to remove the valve cover let's remove the valve cover here represented in yellow so to do so we have to remove all the fasteners here in green so you have dotted for hidden one keep in mind that those two fastener in red are longer than the others let's clean all the surface here in green we have the intake manifold contact with the head cylinder and in pink we have the surface with the valve cover so we need to remove the old sealant this is mandatory on both sides so here is the top side of the valve cover and here the bottom side how to remove the throttle body and change all the intake manifold seals remove the four screws here in blue with a torx screwdriver it discards the old o-ring from the throttle body and take a chance to clean it with carb cleaner because it is quite dirty clean the recess and here is the part number from the manufacturer and you can lube the o-ring with silicon spray it's not mandatory but it will make the work easier you can use also thread locker on the screws to fasten them back it's not mandatory but it's better discards the old seals and clean the recess here in yellow so here is the part number from the manufacturer and we have the seals back in place how to remove the ECU and change all valve cover seals 
remove the four ECU screws here in blue with a stock screwdriver. So clean the recess here in yellow and change the seal. We have the article number here. The seal is in place and then you mount back the ECU and put some thread locker on the screws. Here is the wavy seal of the valve cover. Be sure to, to place it correctly to seat it correctly in its recess. So now in red we have the place where we need to put the sealant. So let's have a closer loop closer look sorry on the timing belt side on the exhaust manifold side and on the gearbox side and here in black this is the real sealant timing belt side exhaust manifold, gearbox side. Now we are going to put back the cover and you screw the whole thing with a spiral pattern with a socket of 10 mm. So we have a big rectangle seal to put it on the uh, valve cover. Here it's in place and we have to fit the four pack plug well seal so you can put it with a socket of 30 millimeters and lube it with silicon spray and you press on it. And now let's put this strange wedge seal which sit between the intake manifold, manifold and the valve cover. Move the rags out of the air intake, if any. Place correctly the loom of the throttle body into its brackets. Place the connector of the air temperature sensor and then of the throttle body actuator. Place back all injectors connectors. So you can't make a mistake because the loom is designed to do so. Place back the ECU connectors. the injector interface and the map sensor. Fit the four screws of the intake manifold on the top and then all the screws of the intake manifold on the cylinder head with a spiral shape pattern from the center to the outside. On the back of the engine you have a small loom to lock. So here we have the brake booster vacuum line, the coil plug with the force, the three screws, sorry. Insert the spark plug roof back, put back the anti-pollution vacuum line, sneak the fuel line to its connector and plug it into it, uh, connect the primary 
of the coil back the coolant temperature sensor the knock sensor and the ground put back the dipstick the oil cap the battery the air filter box and the cosmetic cover thank you for watching feel free to comment and rate and see you next time for more tutorials